Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fallout 3. You're here with Randall the Fever, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when I am fucking going to the bio, dude. Um, uh, let's get going. That being said, I just want to give you some equipment. By all means, let's. Alright, I'm getting rid of most of my stuff. Surface rifle? Nah, goodbye. I think I'm just taking the Chinese assault rifle. Everything else can go. Did I pick up any weird miscellaneous items? The death claw hand can go. The cigarettes and all that shit. Alright, cool. Alright, you're fired, Fox. Stop following me around. Are you certain? Quite certain. I'm disappointed, but I cannot say I'm surprised. If you change your mind, I shall be uh, studying in the American History Museum downtown. Good luck, Fox. We're flying solo. Also, there are all these Aquapura crates around now. Aquapura is like purified water, except it's the water that's coming from the uh, from the basin. Uh, I'm just gonna change my quest to the local flavor. Hopefully they still accept caps down there. I don't know, like losing all my stuff, okay. Changing currency on me, not okay. That always pisses me off. Okay, it depends on what the currency, the new currency is. We don't trade caps down here, we trade funny looking rocks. Oh, I hate this. Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> All these Mirelurks just suddenly fucking died. So it sounded. Anyway. Yeah, sure. I need your help. Yeah, I know, your daughter's missing. Tobar. Are you gonna are you gonna say anything? I'd like to buy a ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Do I have any missiles I can sell them? Missiles, they're my go-to just like, I don't need this shit. Cause I don't need this shit. Oh, hey man, give me that money back. Uh, do I need anything else? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. All right, cool. Um, I'm ready to head out. Nope. Travel to Point Lookout. I think we can come back whenever we wish by using the boat. That being said, if the boat is absent, obviously we can't use it. Wonder Bear, Ruska, the Swamp Folk denizens of Point Lookout are the product of exposure to heavy radiation and generations of poor breeding. Oh, going straight for that low-hanging fruit. Mm. That's fine. I think you have to buy a ticket in order to go back. Not that it matters. I have 17,000 fucking caps. Ooh, boy. Oh, Jesus. This place looks awful. Criminy. Huh. Smoke coming from that house. Not a bad place to start. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Yeah, so it's smoke. Things burn out all the time. Especially around me. Oh, it's smoke, all right. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's fire, there's profit to be made selling an extinguisher. That smoke's coming from old Calvert Mansion. I always heard it was haunted, but more importantly, I always heard it was full of pre-war treasure. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Tobar? I like the way you think. Catch you later. Good travels to you. 
It's a fine a place to start as any. Oh, it's popcorn. Oh, it's a boardwalk. Now I feel stupid. Anyway. Pilgrim's Landing. Funnel cakes. No funnel cakes. Nothing around here much. Or nothing much around here. I know what words mean. Don't you doubt me. What? Just a protectron. Move along, please. Hello, miss. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. <laughs> Alright, can you fix things? Certainly. Madame Panada is quite handy with a wrench. Her repair skill is five. You're full of shit. All right, what do you got for sale? And what is it you would like to purchase? An axe. I don't want to buy the axe. I just want to look at the axe. A lever action rifle. Uses 10 millimeter rounds. Really puts them to good use. Jesus Christ. Why do you have four missile launchers? Eh, who knows? Shovels. You know. For shoveling your enemies. Um, I don't think I'll take a lever action rifle. I'm certain I'll find some along the way. Combat armor, Confederate hats. Um, God damn it! Workman's coveralls, repair repair plus ten. Anything else? Ooh, give me those chems. Oh, chems everywhere. Yes, please. Coffee mug. Any scrap? Do scrap metal. I'll always take scrap. Thank you very much. Oh, it's stealing the teddy bear. Okay, I saw I saw a red text and I was like, who am I fighting? Who where the bad guy? Is that Search Smuggler? They're dead. That that much I can ascertain. Also, we got some sweet bumper cars. Alright. Let's head southeast. Southeast. Who that? Oh, just some vicious dogs. Nothing to report. Hmm. Are these entrances? They are not. Troll? Not troll. Anyway, let's get moving. Oh, I love this armor. Now I feel like they're going to take it away from me somehow. Some way. Whoa, what the fuck is going on over there? Oh, probably the same thing that's going on over here. Oh, God, radiation plus swamps is bad. Oh, God, who thought this was a good idea? What the hell? Why does it make little bubbles? Oh, Jesus. A creeper, eh? Well, they seem to have a lot of health. Oh, fuck. Well, the creepers do. The scrappers don't. Fuck. Oh, but you got a lot of chems. You got a lot of chems and I like you. Double-barreled shotgun. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. That being said, you're, 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 you are literally blowing your load every time you fire. Glorp. Also, the world map... Not very big. But, I mean, it is just a DLC. What were you expecting? The pit wasn't very big either. But there was a whole lot to do in it. Let's hope, let's hope Point Lookout follows suit. Right, might as well allocate my weapons. It's not in good condition, but doesn't need to be. Ah, Punga. Just in case you're worried about catching the radiation sickness. Swamps were made to clean things. As such, it's 
no small surprise that it's able to purge the radiation. At least a little bit. Huh. Nothing in the footlocker. Just over here, cracking open a cold one. There's a generator. So this place has got to have power. Or at least some of it does. Where you get the guzzoline for the generator? You just have it. Lying around. Doesn't gasoline go bad? I'm pretty sure that that's a thing. Like, if you leave gasoline out long enough, it'll just, like, stop being combustible. Right? Is that a thing? You're no tribal. Get in here and help me fight these bastards off, goddammit. Alright. Fair enough. I don't know who you are, but let's... Let's, let's go a couple rounds. Holy shit. Hot damn. They've got lots of health. Lots of health. Oh! Mysterious stranger. He goes places. Frecky, Jerry, and you are Desmond. With his Mark 7 turrets. God damn. I like how one of his dogs is really, like, mutated and the other one isn't. Oh, they're evil. Well then, that changes everything. Don't need the axe. Desmond, what's up? What you need? Who you are, but you need to help me if you want to stay alive. Huh, don't usually see a ghoul with glasses. Have a minigun lying around. I'd use it, but you know, not so good with the heavy weapons. Holy shit! I'll take that flamer though. Never turn down a flamer. And medical supplies, dude. You were ready for this. Activate Punga experiment. Huh. Punga can act as a energy source of some kind. Interesting. Like like the potato clock, but like obviously better. Hey, over here. Here. Hey. Oh shit. Ow. Oh yeah. Vats exists. And I get superpowers when I use it. Oh god, a hunting rifle. Oh god. All their limbs just keep falling off. Christ. Okay, so we've already killed four guys. This is three more guys. Blood everywhere. Guts everywhere. It looks like they're coming in from somewhere upstairs. Hurry. Follow me. Damn it, not what I was looking for. I don't need hunting rifles. I need, a uh, Lever action rifles. Oh, actually, hunting rifles are not that bad. Alright, the word shotgun. Let's see how it do. Go through these doors and up the stairs. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry. You got it, Desmond. Requires key. Also requires, like, a hammer to get rid of the boards. Oh shit! That was super ineffective. I don't know what the hell. It seems like this weapon is awful. Apparently it's decent in vats. Or not. Ow. Oh, look at those action points come back. God damn. Unenlightened? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. These tribals are kicking my ass. For being people armed with nothing but, like, knives and axes and shitty shotguns, they are really taking it out on me. Let's not forget, 
I am in winterized T-51B power armor. They just don't seem to care. All right. There goes the rest of the uh, clean water onto the dirty stuff. Wow. Lots of dead people in here. Long dead. Hmm. Hello. Jeez, Desmond. You're a little paranoid? Oh, fuck. I mean, you know, I can understand why he might be a little paranoid. He's got a bad tribal infestation. Alright, so we've killed... What's that, 11 total? Make that 13. It's a lot of dead people. It's a lot of dead people. Just saying. Who owns this bed? Who? Alright, um... Four. Flamer. Four for Flamer. Look at all these pre-war bonnets and fishing poles. And fission batteries? Alright, whatever. Whoops. Want the real guns, please. Oop, I'll take that pre-war money. Desmond certainly didn't want it. He's been holed up here for a while, and he didn't take it. Oh, it's a nursery. Reminds me of mine when I was a wee bab. Now give me all these stim packs and missiles. Ah, oh, this is the place you'd expect to find a book of sheet music. Nope, just a bunch of harmonicas. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> it's funny because I managed to hide it somehow. Don't question it. Oh no, walls, my greatest weakness. Look! And they are talking about enlightenment again. Ow, fuck. What is up with this knife? It's just a regular combat knife. How high is their strength? Like, how does the game even justify them doing that much damage to me in my power armor? I don't know, man. Ooh. I just figured, I just remembered I can lower rads with punga fruit. Oh, fuck. She's obviously not the dangerous one. It's these knife-wielding tribals that are, like, causing the most damage, strangely enough. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Ow. 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 Fuck. Okay, it seems like those double-barreled shotguns are literally hit or miss. Like, either they do a bucket of damage, or they do none at all. Which makes sense. Given the circumstances. I am running out of durability for my Chinese assault rifle. I have killed so many of them. They just keep falling on my sword, so to speak. Oh. Funny. Oh, oh, God. That's a lot of smoke. And debris. And such. Although I'm not surprised. Who owns all these beds? The fuck? Can't, can't, can't a gal just take a nap? Hey, over here. Oh, Jesus. Good hey, Desmond. What's up? Off that hole. Hurry and get in here. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. I've killed like 26 of the bastards. Next time on Let's Play Fallout 3, we kill 26 more. Good night, everyone.